This episode of Stuck in Vermont is made possible by Hotel Vermont and Vermont Tourism. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We are here in downtown Burlington at dealer.com. And behind me, muralist Mary Lacey is painting two 32 feet high silos. It's been a pretty crazy year. Maybe you've seen Mary's giant hummingbird on the American Flatbread Building near City Hall in Burlington. Or perhaps you've seen the video about her work in the Moran plant. I love heights. Let's set a wall to the deer in the air. Down carouettes in the tree. Each step of my stone. Can't find my way home view of town. We've been trying to figure out what to do with this for a long time. I was working with Mary Lacey on a sale project and on hanging her work in dealer and I called her up and I said, hey Mary, I have I have a canvas for you. What stops most murals from happening can be a budget and the hummingbird budget wouldn't have passed and this one wouldn't have passed neither of these budgets would have passed if I didn't have my own lift. She had just been thinking about buying her bucket lift which this gave her another reason to buy it. So the project is called Inside Out and it's taking the colors of the interior of dealer.com and the energy of our employees and bringing it together with the community and the South End, as we're in the middle of the South End Arts District, and we're launching it for Art Hop 2015. Well, I did look cleaner this morning than I do right now. Not everyone gets paint on them. I definitely tend to get paint on myself more than other people. Her energy is so great, being from Jericho, being a local Vermonter, putting her heart into everything she does. Pretty cool. <laughs> this is her first abstract piece, which I kind of really pushed her to try to do. I'm grateful for that challenge. It was really hard. We've been having a blast. She's been having a blast and working her butt off uh, 12 hours a day. Each silo, silo is 50 feet around. I know they're wider than they are tall, which I still cannot visualize that. I don't believe it, <laughs> but I do because I did it. This particular project is one of the biggest canvases, I would say, in Burlington or in northern Vermont? Like this is full coverage. This is 3,200 square feet of paint. A Vermont Paint Company donated a bunch of paint for this. There's over 10,000 bolts in here. And I'm painting each one four times. <laughs> oh, five times. I'm painting them all five times. Because the primer and then the paint, the blue paint twice, and then the uh, color twice. On the move. He's always on the move, yeah. <laughs> Those are the shapes I have next. So this building used to be the old specialty filaments building, which means they make all the bristles for like toothbrushes and combs and stuff. So these silos are actually double silos. And there's still just a little bit of remnants of plastic beads that were melted, I guess, to make the filament. I've had a couple people stop and say that they used to work here. So I know that the person who lived in my house walked down to their factory job down here. And so I actually, sometimes chuckle to myself that I'm walking down to my factory job here even though it's not a factory job, but that's what's so special about Burlington. It's, yes, we have this big mecca of a thousand people in this building, but they're all your neighbors. Most of our nonprofits are right in this vicinity because this is our neighborhood and this is where we have impact. <laughs> Dealer.com has a pretty extensive art wall program that we built into the building where we have eight rotating art walls that we curate with local artists. We've sold about $145,000 worth of art all going directly back to the artists as part of our CSR mission to support local artists and help them make a living wage. So how much tape do you go through? A lot. <laughs> At the beginning, I would think a lot about the origami. Then I started really 
just going on my own geometric tangent and I really like the sense of imagination that goes with seeing a wall or a place and trying to figure out what belongs there, like what could go there. And I think the best example of this is all my work at the Moran plant, which has 12 murals on the inside of it. It's this abandoned building. It's kind of like an urban wildlife. I loved just like making up if all these animals come and take over and it was being inhabited again. The dragonfly has 628 shapes in it. <laughs> yeah, they're all red up here. I've never seen a red dragonfly before here. Are you a dragonfly with <laughs> They just live here, so. There's a spider web too right there. I would personally like to keep doing public art projects fused with grants, you know, for the next couple of years and just keep painting the town. Part of your job is that you're out in the open, so you can't just like, you can't just say, oh, I'm at my office, don't talk to me. This is different, there's not many pedestrians at all. So. Right, they can't get to you also. I mean, I like being up here for that reason. <laughs> <laughs> I want to plan a mural tour, so I take it on the road, which would be really fun. Blues come this year. You can see the finished silos at the South End Art Hop, and we will get stuck in Vermont with you again real soon. Don't forget to go to the Seven Days Party on Friday night because we're turning 20 years old, and you have to come celebrate with us. <laughs> this is clean! <laughs> no, I tried. No. There's like, like that, I, I did a little bit. I love that you're dirty. It's not dirty, it's like cool paint too, so. I still shower, it just doesn't, <laughs> I just don't scrub forever. Hotel Vermont is personal, purposeful, and natural. Rustic and modern. Unique, independent, and unlike anything else. It's fun, it's exciting, hip and relaxed. It's Vermont, it's Burlington. Come down for a beer, come stay overnight, we'd love to see you.